So today I wanted to share with you a new craft or knitting bag, yarn bag, but it works very well for carrying your looms. And there are a lot of knitting bags out there, but some weren't big enough to hold like the round looms and stuff. This is the Timoy, I don't know if you can see the label, it's T-E-A-M-O-Y. I ordered it from Amazon, it's $30. And I wanted to show you what it looked like all packed up. You have a spot here, like you could put your water bottle, and there's another one on the other side as well. So all packed up, it looks like this, it zips at the top. It's open there, but it does have a zipper closure, which I really like. On this side, it has a pocket here that zips. I'll try to show it to you. I don't have anything in this pocket, but it does have this zipper pocket on the outside. It's made out of a, I wouldn't say waterproof, but it's going to be fairly weather resistant. It's be resistant to stains and so forth. These are snap closures here. If you open this here, I have my all-in-one hat loom in here with a skein of yarn. So you have this space here, which is plenty big enough for me to fit the all-in-one. And it's set for 80 pegs, in case you're wondering how big that this particular loom, it's set for 80 pegs. So that's for an adult hat. So I can put that in there I can unzip this one. And as you can see, I have another round loom in here. I'll pull my yarn out. I have my yarn here and I have a hat I'm working on here. So it's plenty tall. I'll show you plenty tall to fit your round looms. Okay, and then I have a couple of more skeins of yarn. These are actually on top of two other half skeins that I have left over. And my headlamp in here, so if I'm working at night in the car or something. So there's a pocket here. There isn't a, um, you know, like one of those cardboard things on the bottom. It's just soft, which is nice because I think that enables you to actually put more stuff in it. And this is just a pouch that I have extra crochet hooks and tapestry needles and so forth. All right, I'm going to snap this back. You see, that'll easily snap with your yarn in there. And then, on this side, you unzip this, and you have this pocket. And here I just put a tape measure and the current hooks that I'm using to loom, my most common ones. You have another zipper pocket here, and I have some more loom hooks that I don't use a row counter, and my clover pom-pom maker. So that easily fits in there. If you are also a knitter, this Velcro comes off. And if you had knitting needles, you could put your knitting needles in here. So of course this pocket will be shorter. So if you had some shorter crochet hooks, there's also Velcro here. You could put them there if you had needle, um, knitting needles. You could put them here, like so. Okay. And then I even have a giant crochet hook. So if I wanted to put my, my giant crochet hook, that's about the very bottom right here. If you use these, you couldn't really put anything short in them because they go all the way down to the bottom. So even my longest knitting needles get would get lost. But probably if you did this and you buttoned it down and then you can zip it up. So I think it's a really handy dandy um, bag for me. I like it. Everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. Everybody carries different things with them. Sorry, my dog just barked. So you have to decide what you really need, what's a deal breaker for you. I do not carry everything I'm working on with me. This is just something, I just need something big enough that I can carry a current project or two. It also has on the top, 
these holes where you could put your yarn through here, I wouldn't ever use that, but a lot of people might. So you have um, a place here you could thread your yarn through, a place here you could thread your yarn through. These are little Velcro. Um, I'm not real sure. I think somebody said, I don't know why you would ever put yarn in there because yarn would very obviously stick to the Velcro. So really don't know that those serve any purpose. They don't for me. But if you were somebody who wanted to put your yarn in here and you work out of a bag all the time, then you could thread your yarn through these holes. I don't work out of a bag all the time, so that's not really a feature I need. But it's not anything that's going to make a difference to me. This is, just so you know, the dimensions are actually on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below. So this is about, I think when you pull it all the way up, it's a little over a foot. It's like 12 inches or 12 and a half. And it is about 14 and a half inches long. So it's a really nice size bag. And then like I said, you can see the width of it here. And the dimensions will be in the link. It's about seven inches wide. And it works really perfectly. Like I said, I can get my KB all-in-one hat loom. I can get my 48 peg nifty knitter loom in here along with several skeins of yarn. So that's the review for the Timoy Knitting Craft Loom Knitting Bag. Thank you.